guys, I hope your week is going well. Um, as you can tell from the title and thumbnail of today's video, um, I've been getting many requests ever since I reviewed and started using consistently the Color Science uh, Mineral Face Shield and their Mineral Powder. I have been getting re requests if I could review the Physician's Formula BB Cream and corresponding Mineral Powder and share my thoughts on these products. So it's bright and early this morning. I just woke up and I am here with Totoro getting caffeinated. So hopefully the energy, my energy should pick up shortly <laughs> as soon as it kicks in. The caffeine that is. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I woke up, I applied a solid base layer of my Elta MD UV Sport water resistant sunscreen to all the surfaces of my face. All right, I emphasize that because I think a lot of people are under the misconception that these BB creams, CC creams, tinted foundations, makeup with SPF is a substitute for a base layer of sunscreen. And it's simply not. I said that in the color science review and I'll emphasize it again here. Uh, the base layer of sunscreen needs to be applied because you're not going to apply this entire, I mean, you'd buzz through this entire tube, you're not going to put it on every surface of your face, all right, to get to get that coverage that you need for, for good protection. Where BB creams and mineral powders come in and are helpful is a, in camouflaging any dark spots, hyperpigmentation, imperfections that you may have and be bothered by that just your plain sunscreen is not going to cover up, as well as a lot of tinted sunscreens, um, including this one, have iron oxides in them, which can protect against some of the visible light, namely in the blue, blue light wavelengths that contribute to hyperpigmentation. But if you are solely relying on this, as your sunscreen, you're not going to be putting enough of it on and you're going to have a lot of skip areas and that puts you at risk for, for photo damage, photo aging, and skin cancer from not protecting your skin there. Um, but anyways, so you know, disclaimer, I actually have used the Physician's Formula BB cream in the past, went through an entire tube of it probably about four or five years ago before I was, you know, obviously before I was on YouTube. And prior to trying it out back then, I had always used the Elta MD um, tinted sunscreens and my preference at the time and, and currently is the Elta MD one over this. And I'll share with you in, in a little bit. But if you're not familiar with this product, it's Physician's Formula. And overall, it is a fantastic, um, tinted sunscreen BB cream that can blend imperfections. It is wonderful if you have sensitive skin, if you have allergies to any ingredients because it is really no nonsense. It is exclusively a mineral sunscreen, zinc and titanium dioxide. And uh, it's very affordable. I purchased this on iHerb for $14. Um, I'll get into the mineral powder in a little bit as well, and I also purchased that on iHerb for, I think, 13 bucks. You can get these at CVS, Walgreens, Ulta, you name it. They, they're in most, Physician's Formula is in most drugstores. If you buy it online with Ebates, you can get some cash back. Um, so I'm just going to swatch this on today for you guys and put it on so you can see how it goes on, and I'll talk a little bit about it. They, they, they only come, uh, the BB creams only come in two shades. Uh, light, which I'm using, and medium light. And in a bit you'll kind of see why why this isn't really the best option for me. Um, but I've been applying this and have always applied it to my face with just my fingers, but I thought for fun today I would try out the, sorry we have a little, we have a little gnat buzzing around in here. I don't know how he got in here and I guess he wants a CC BB cream too, whatever. Please pardon, please pardon him. Uh, but anyways, I thought it'd be fun to try out the beauty blender. I just got it damp. Look at me, I've never tried this before. I'm just going to put a little of the product on there. Um, to help me apply it, um, just to kind of try this thing out. But, um, you know, one thing I've always recommended to you guys who wear makeup is to, um, when you apply sunscreen throughout the day and you want to put sunscreen on over your makeup, to try using a BB cream. Um, or excuse me, to try using a beauty blender. That is, that is a good, that's a good way to, to do it. And I have to say, in comparison to using, to using the, um, to using my fingers, I'm kind of liking the I'm kind of liking this little squeegee. I'm just gonna borrow my 
my mirror here, so. So the color for me is, is not quite right. It's a little dark for me. But it feels wonderful going on. I have it obviously over water resistant sunscreen. A little mascara up there. But when you do it, when you do it with just your your fingers, it does come up, it does go on a little streaky, FYI, in comparison to in comparison to Elta or in comparison to the color science one that I currently use. All right, you can see I've just applied a little bit to my cheeks here and you can appreciate, I think, that the color, the light color is, does have a little bit of an orangey undertone to it and is a little too dark for me and this is the lightest color that they have. Um, but overall, this is wonderful. It is water resistant, mineral sunscreen will give you added protection um, against uh, visible light with the iron oxides in there. It is, it is one, it's a wonderful choice, great for sensitive skin. Um, it has a little bit of salix alba in it, which is willow bark extract, kind of like salicylic acid, uh, is salicylic acid. And so I question if people with uh, really sensitive skin or rosacea might find that the stings might kick off a flare of rosacea. Comment below, everyone's rosacea is very individualized, but this product from people that I've talked to, patients, etc., seems to be pretty well tolerated in rosacea sufferers, but we'd love to know your feedback in the comments below and if you've used it. Obviously, like I said, it's a little too dark for me, um, but otherwise, how does it compare to the Color Science Mineral Shield? Well, the Color Science Mineral Shield is SPF 50. I find that it does kind of pill up a little bit with, with my water resistant sunscreen. And I find that it does not last, the color on this does not last throughout the day. So in other words, come, come a few hours um, after applying it and a lot of it has rubbed off and is no longer there. Whereas the Color Science one and the Elta MD ones, they, they have more staying power to them, I will say. This does provide a really nice creamy coverage for hyperpigmentation, dark spots. We'll give those, those spots protection against visible light and ultraviolet light, so that is wonderful. When you're just when you're just kind of spotting 30 on, you know, you're getting skip areas, you're not getting, you're not getting a really thick density on there, so you start to you start to have less less SPF and less protection uh, with that kind of haphazard application. So definitely need your base layer on underneath and you definitely need to reapply your base layer on on top of it throughout the day. If you're indoors all day, at least three times a day. If you are out and about, you wanna be reapplying your base layer sunscreen every two hours. It tends to kind of fade and it rubs off quite a bit. Um, it will come off on clothing, on your phone. It doesn't really stay. It's water resistant, but it, it smears off and wipes off a lot. And I don't know, it's formulated a little bit, it's less creamy, it, it, it blends into the skin a little bit less well than, than the Elta MD one. And so you get a little bit of a grainy texture to it that can kind of enhance the appearance of anything textural on your skin, pores. It almost gives the skin a little bit, especially with the orange hue of a peau d'orange appearance to it. Uh, it's subtle, um, so you know you may not like that, but uh, otherwise it, it really gives good coverage for those dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and I love it. I think it's a great option. I just wish it came in more shades. Um, and the shade up from this, I'm not sure how dark that is, uh, but they don't really offer a wide spectrum of shades, in other words. I, if you do use this, I do recommend using this Beauty Blender. I think it goes on a lot easier than, than just with your fingers. All right, so then let's move along to the um, Mineral Wear Airbrushing Loose Powder. This, um, you know, here's the deal with the mineral sunscreen powders. They are, again, not sunscreen. They don't reliably distribute an even um, protective layer on at the right density to get you to the SPF that you need. 
Um, but where they are helpful and why I like them and like reviewing them and talking to you guys about them is they are helpful in camouflaging some of that shiny greasiness that many of you um, note with sunscreen application. So they um, allow for a little bit of dusting to camouflage that and give you just, just some sprinkles of sunscreen on top of your base layer sunscreen. They are not a substitute, however. They don't put a monolayer on, they just apply little sparkles of sunscreen, so not enough. Um, but just about the packaging on this, I was hopeful when I first got this that somehow this would flip out and uh, you know serve as the brush like this, but it actually doesn't. This little kabuki brush gizmo sits in the top of the egg, and you kind of have to have to shake some powder out into the lid so that it it comes up into into the little pepper shaker here, and then you kind of dab it on. I don't care for this brush. It's kind of irritating. I mean, if you have ro rosacea, it's it's like very itchy. It feels itchy. I don't even have rosacea, but it feels really itchy. The bristles are, bristles are kind of icky. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad on the go, but I think those of you who are really particular about your brushes, you, you might not like this. It doesn't have a very nice feel to it, and it's a little awkward to use, but otherwise it's fine. Um, so this can kind of mask some of that shininess, and to me, this is, the product itself feels, feels identical to the Color Science one, like I don't really appreciate much of a difference. Alright, so there it is with the powder on as well. And I think when you start layering the powder on on top of the BB cream, it can kind of give even more of a granular appearance that you might not care for. How does this compare to the Color Science one that I use um, and my mom uses and, and really enjoys? Packaging wise, they're, they're not the same. I like the Color Science one better. You just kick it out and some comes into the brush and you don't have to touch anything or shake anything. It's just easier to use. The brush feels nicer. Uh, but whatever, I mean, you know, you, you, don't, you don't necessarily want to spend your money on packaging. The powder itself, is pretty similar. I don't appreciate any difference. They feel similar, they have similar ingredients, very good ingredients, non-irritating, you know, rosacea friendly. This product would definitely be rosacea friendly aside from the brush, I think. I think you might find a little itchy and irritating, but the powders themselves are, are similar. Even the shade appears very similar. The shade here that I have is Creamy Natural. I'm not entirely sure how many shades of this um, they have. The, this, I believe, is one of the lighter ones. But it looks and goes on pretty similar to the, um, to the Color Science mineral powder that I uh, use and my mom uses. The only difference largely is in that brush and the packaging. This packaging is a lot more awkward to use. So, you know, if you're like me and you're practical, you really care more about, about the powder and how, how the powder performs and, you know, you don't want to spend your money necessarily on packaging. One thing that I will, I have noticed when I use this in contrast to the Color Science one, particularly alongside their BB cream, is that it definitely um, enhances kind of the granular appearance of the BB cream itself and it kind of set, also settles in a little bit more into creases. The BB cream likewise settles a little bit more than any other tinted, any other tinted sunscreen that I've ever used before. You know, I haven't really given it a good wear test after applying it with the, with the uh, Beauty Blender. Maybe the Beauty Blender technique uh, kind of lessens that because I found that putting it on just now with the Beauty Blender for the first time was a lot easier, but anyways. But you all can look carefully and form your own opinion as to you know what you think of the way that it goes on. You've seen my uh, videos reviewing the ones that I use, the color science products that I use. So you can you can compare and contrast that from my other videos uh, yourselves. But in my mind, this is a wonderful, affordable option for a tinted mineral BB cream to afford extra protection against visible light for the hyperpigmentation. For those of you with oily, greasy skin and you're bothered by the shine of your sunscreens or anybody who's bothered by that shininess of the sunscreen, the powder is wonderful too. Um, I 
I will say this, where, where I find that, that they're problematic and where they don't work for me, A is in the shade. I don't think that this is the right shade for me. I think it's too dark. And B, the way that I don't think that they, they really shine that well is that they don't hold up particularly well throughout the day. They pill up quite a bit. They get a granular appearance and both of them settle into, into the creeks and, creeks and crevices, into some of the fine lines and when I wear these alongside my sunscreens, uh, they don't play as well as some of the other tinted sunscreens that I've used before. So for example, wearing it over L to MD UV Sport or wearing it over, over like the Eucerin Everyday SPF 30, I find that it kind of gets a little chalky looking and granular appearing. You may not care for that. Otherwise, these are wonderful, and I do recommend the Physician's Formula products. They are logically, logically formulated. They're very, very low risk. They are affordable. You can get them on iHerb, which makes me excited because many of you watch me from other countries, and iHerb has more of an international reach than you know a lot of the brands that I review. So that is wonderful. And I do really like these. Um, I just wish they came in more shades and had better durability. And I wish they could get the SPF up to 50 with this to, to really give you strong protection throughout the day. This also wipes off quite a bit and will stain, stain your fabric. It wipes off on the phone and it wipes off on your, on your fabrics, on your washcloths and things like that. So be careful. Um, it will, it will kind of stain those things. But, but now I have to figure out how to wash this. And of course they want to sell me some jazzy, jazzy wash to wash it with um, <laughs> that I should be using. But I think I can just probably use it in a little bit of, of soap, soapy water and, and let it dry per the instructions. I don't know that you need the magic beauty blender cleanser. Comment below on what you would recommend but this is kind of nice this is really um i see the i see the appeal with these i've always been like what what is that gizmo uh but yeah it really makes the the application a lot easier for for this in particular than doing it with your fingers if you do this with your fingers it goes on a lot streaky streakier a lot more streaky and uh you know a lot more chalky difficult to to get on on evenly this was this was a, a way to do it much much a much easier way to do it I obviously don't wear makeup so I can't comment on using other beauty blenders that aren't beauty blender brand because I realize this is expensive I got it in my FabFitFun box would not necessarily go out of my way to buy it but if it helps you guys to put on sunscreen consistently I'm all for it so <laughs> But anyways, guys, I hope this review was helpful to you all as far as an affordable product that I love for um, mineral tinted sunscreen and powder to, for those of you who find the Color Science ones uh, a little bit cost prohibitive, um, this is a great option and one I recommend. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys.